Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and today we're going to work on the Roxy's Weekly Challenge. Now, this is not this past Monday, but the Monday before, so I'm a little bit behind, but we're getting there. <laughs> we are getting there. Uh, I'm always behind. Is anybody else? Anybody else behind? I feel like that is my middle name is behind. Now what she did was took window envelopes, and these are just some that I have had in my drawer. I get these in junk mail, and I throw the junk mail part away, and I save the envelopes. And I'm going to go ahead and close all of these. I think hers were already closed, but I'm just going to go ahead and close them. And I haven't started my clock yet, so I'll start that in just a second. Like I said, I think hers were closed already, so I'm just going to close mine. I can't even hold on to things today. You ever, ever heard that saying, I wash my hands and I can't do anything with them? <laughs> That's about how my hands are today. They just, they don't want to go the way that my mind tells them to. Okay, so I've got all those done. Let me grab my phone, and we will set our timer here. I've also pulled out just a ton of different scraps, just odds and ends scraps here from from wherever. I just I just grabbed them from wherever. So we've got lots of scraps that we can work with. But before we get into the video, I'm going to go ahead and say a big thank you to some people that are supporting me on the buy me a coffee link and that is below they just donate a little bit of money to my channel and that helps me in buying new equipment keeping my equipment updated i am filming right now on a new camera hopefully it looks well please be kind because it's going to take me a few videos to learn all of the adjustments on it because my other one was just plug in and go this one has a lot of bells and whistles on it so I don't, it's going to take me a little while to get it adjusted so just be kind and be patient with me so mary elizabeth annette sandra cheryl denise um maletti i think m-e-l-e-t-t-e Millette or Milady, uh, Robin, Lana, Dale, Kim, Deborah, Linda, Holiday, Lori, 50, Pam, Ellen, Joyce, Simply Clean, and Joyce. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. More than you will ever, ever know. So 45. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and start it. So there we go running away now if some if ups or somebody comes up and i have to go take care of that then i'll pause my video for a minute but i think i'll be okay right now hopefully i'm not sure when they're going to come now some of her she cut down and i think i'm going to cut some of mine down I'm trying to decide that hmm let me see what i want to do and I, I know that she didn't do this, but I had thought about adding a little pocket at the bottom of them, too, and just kind of doing that thing. She didn't really do that, so I guess I better stick with the challenge. All right, we're going to cut part of this off because I don't need one that tall for my journal. So she cut that. She's going to let, like, the top, we're going to let the top, I guess this could be the top, either one be the open part where you would put your tag and then you're going to open that right where you closed the flap you're going to go ahead and open that one and then you're going to open this side and I'm just going to use my trimmer to do all of this it'll just make it a little bit quicker let me make sure I got all of it open Well, I stuck that one together all the way down, didn't I? Okay, that one's open. Let's go ahead and open this one. I'm going to make this one a little shorter, I think. And I can save those and make pockets out of those. So open the flap side. And then open this other side. The only part that you're not going to open is the bottom. So there we go. 
So I'm going to go ahead and trim all of these. So how are you guys today? Is everybody doing okay? Beautiful Saturday here. It's kind of hot, 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 but it is pretty. It's supposed to be, I think, about, I don't know, 84 or 85 today. Let's see what it is. Well, right now it's 84, so it's probably going to get hotter. And very, very humid. So it'll feel a lot hotter than what it is. We have that sticky, muggy humidity that just makes you feel like every time you go outside that you've had a, you've been drenched in a hot bath. All right, we got that. And then, like I said, I'm going to save these. I can use those for little pockets. So what she did next was she came through here, and on the end that you have opened up, she came through and she folded over about, I think, three quarters of an inch, maybe an inch. I'm going to fold about three quarters. Let's see. I'd like to find my bone folder. There it is. So she just folded that over, like that, on all of them. So I'm gonna do, just gonna do this on all of them before we go any further. And I cannot fold worth a flip when I do it without using a scoring tool. It's just something about my folding skills. They don't, uh, unless I use a score tool, a scoreboard, they don't go the right way. Okay, there we go. And then one more, that one that I almost glued together. There we go. So we've got those. I'm just going to go ahead and burnish a little bit on that one. All right, now what she did was she opened these up. And she put a very pretty picture right here that would show through, like flowers or, you know, something that's really pretty that's going to show through to the front side. So let me see what I have over here in my little stash pile that we could put there. This one's going to have to be a long piece. Uh, we could use some of this. This is pretty. This is from Hello Susan off of Etsy. She has some gorgeous papers, and I think we can cut that right down through there. I'm just going to mark it, I think, where I need to cut it. And then we can put that down, and that flower is going to show through there. Let's see if you can see that. I'm going to... I could tear it with my ruler, but I'm just going to go ahead and cut this since I've got this out. It's not going to matter because you are, it's going to be on the inside so nobody's going to see it. So it's not going to matter if you tear it or cut it. Just make sure that you put it in the right spot when you start to put it down in here. So that's where I want to put it right there. I can go ahead and trim off at the top and the bottom. So I'm just going to mark a little spot where I want to trim off at the bottom and a little spot at the top. And then I'm just going to freehand cut those. Like I said, they don't have to be perfect because this is going to glue down like that right there. Whoops, not upside down, right side up. Like that, just so that it shows through. So all you're going to do here I'm going to close my glue up. All you're going to do here is you're going to put a little bit of glue around the window. Don't put it too close because when you put your piece down, it's going to squirt glue off on your little cellophane there. Okay. Let's make sure that I get some glue on there. And i got to have me a towel. These are really, really wet. I don't need that one. Let me grab a towel. So that is cute. I like that. And I'm going to glue this part right here down because that's going to irritate me when I start using that part. And you'll see in a minute, I'll show you how these are going to be used. 
So we're going to lay that one aside. Let's go ahead and put something pretty in here. This one I think will make it like this. So this can take a smaller little piece of something. See what we have here. This is cute. That would be pretty. But this is also a pocket and I really hate to cut that out. Yeah, I'm not going to cut that. Um, let me grab this bag and just look through my scraps here. Let's pull these out. These are about the size that we're going to need right here. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see if that's about the right size. It is. So let's just put that there. And I'm just going to glue the whole thing there instead of cutting it off. Not a big deal. It's not a big enough piece to use anywhere else, I don't think. So I'm just going to put it here. And I'm just going to try to get most of that pink flower in there without losing my, or without going over my opening. I don't know why I would say losing. Without losing my opening. Um, mm, I am going to have to cut some of this off because it's going to get in the way of my little fold there. So I'm just going to cut it like that. Then we'll go ahead and just run a little bit of glue under there to make sure that holds. Okay. So there is that one. Now let's put something in here. And this is going to have to be a long piece. Um, that would work, but my flowers are running the wrong way. Oh, the, here's a cute piece. This is also, I think, from... Susan, I think. Susan, if it's not, let me know. But I wanted I want to say this is. But it may not be. Let's see. I want to I want that little bird to show. So I'm gonna try to trim off the other the back edge of that a little bit more. So maybe my whole little bird will show. We shall see. I got his eyeball, so I don't think I'm going to be able to get him in that one. So, I'm just going to pull that down and do it like that, and we'll save our little bird for something else. Yeah, let's just do that. So, I'm just going to tear that off right there. And then, we'll put this one down. Whoops, that stuck in my hand. Okay. Make sure we got that. Yeah, that'll work. I like that. And then this one. This is kind of a large window too. So let's see if we have anything right here. Oh, that, those are pretty. Oh yeah, let's put that purple and the pink in there. So I'm just going to mark this where I'm going to cut it off right there. Wait now, which which end am I going to have up? Yeah, I think I want my tag to go in on that end. That'll work. Okay. Then I'm just going to mark where I want to cut this off right there just going to save these other pieces. I might, might be able to use those in another one. Oh, look at that. That tore crooked. Okay. Now, we need to put that pretty close so that we can make sure that we have the glue down there, but not any of the window showing. That looks pretty good. Let me make sure that I got glue everywhere. I think I did. That looks pretty good. All right, let's do this one. Hmm. What shall we do to this one? Now this is a big poppy, but that's going to be, I don't think you're going to be able to see any part of that in there. Uh, you know, that would be cute. I know it's, it just shows part of the flower, but I like that. So let's just do it. Let's do that. So 
so I'm going to trim it right there. And then, let's see, right here, just some rough measuring. Oh, let's see. There's another one that I need to glue down. That's going to get in my way. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's cute. And I think I might have one more here. I do believe. Now, these are actually sideways, but see what it looks like. Oh, I don't mind that. I don't mind it being sideways at all. So that's what we're going to do. Nope, just don't mind it. And I'm going to leave the whole thing. It'll be fine. A little bit more glue up here at the top to hold that piece down. Just don't want anything um, hindering your piece when you start to slide your tag in and out. That's the only thing. So just make sure that you're, whatever end you're putting your tag in, just make sure that it's all glued down well so that your tag slides easily. Oh yeah, I like that. And I think, yes, that's all of them. So now what we need to do is collage, collage these. Now, what she said was, let's pretend this is a journal page. This will go, like the journal page will go in here like this. I wonder why that's so difficult. I saw her struggling with doing that too. Um, probably because I don't have that little piece glued down. So the journal page would go in there like that and that would glue on the top and then you've got one that'll glue on the bottom and then when you put your paper or whatever on here it covers all of that up. Or you can go ahead and collage that as well. And then you've got a flip. So this will flip out. And then it'll be a pocket. So it'll be a flip pocket. Flip pocket. Now we just need to make sure that we know which end is going to be the top and which is going to be the bottom. On this one, since it runs sideways, it really doesn't matter. I don't think. Well, I like it better that way. So this is going to be my top. Now I'm going to mark the top on mine just so when I start collaging this, I know which one's the top and which one's the bottom. Uh, this one, let's see, it would go on this side. Let's just pretend that that's there. So I'm going to fold that back the other way, I think. So I think this is going to have to be the top as well. This is going to be our top, 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 and top. And I know you say, well, you could look at those pictures and tell which one's going to be the top. Well, you've never, you've not been around me very long, have you? <laughs> Some people can, but I totally forget sometimes to check my pictures out. Now, we need to start collaging on here. So what I'm going to do is, I can use this piece, but I don't want to use it all because I don't want it to be just solid yellow around that. So I want to use something a little bit different, but something that would still coordinate. So let's look and see what we have here. Got some smaller strips here. That's what we need to drag out. Smaller ones. Okay, we have this little piece of Edith Holden, and it is, it has just a little tiny bit of yellow there. So I'm going to have to use that, you know. So I think I'm going to put that right there. And I'm not going to let it run on out here. I'm going to wait and cover that with my page, just simply because I'm afraid if it runs out over that edge, where you've got where you're going to fold right here that it's going to make it too thick and so therefore it won't fold well so i'd rather do it this way and then just cover that on the page myself anyway okay now i am going to ink mine she does she doesn't ink so she didn't ink hers but i'm going to ink mine because i just like that look so 
If you want to, you can skip right on through my inking. And then I am going to use my art glitter glue to put these down. Because it usually glues very well unless you're... And it glues thin paper well. It's just that on thin paper you can see through the paper. So you have to be careful there. You can see the glue through there. So let's see what else we might have. I knew I saved all of these little pieces for something, didn't I? We could come back with something like that. That's the perfect size right there. But I need it torn because that's torn. So I'm going to go ahead and look a little further down in my stack here. I happen to remember that I'm, I need to tear that side. So let's just go ahead and put this on there. A piece of this. And get that butterfly on there. And then I can tear it across right there. Rachel, you just keep getting a little bit tougher and a little bit tougher on your challenges. I have seen this week's too. Oh my goodness. Move that up a little bit. There we go. I don't mind a little bit of that envelope showing. That doesn't bother me. All right. Now we need some little something over here on this side. Ooh, I don't mind that. But I think I want to run something across here first. So I think I'll run that across the top right there. So let's trim. Well, I'll start to say let's trim, but yeah, we're trimming. We're just trimming with a ruler. Let's tear that off right there. And I'm going to just run that far enough over to cover up that blank space on that Edith Holden page. Then we need to run something down through here and something across the bottom. We could put that across the bottom. So let's look further. What about this? I like that all except that red there at the top, but that piece has got a little red in it. So it goes this way, I think. Let's just put that on there. That's a cute little strip. All right, we will tear that off. I'm going to tear a little bit of this edge off first. I know all of them I haven't done that, but the more of them I can do that way, I think the better. And then I'm going to tear a little piece off the top. Then we can go in and tear this and any of that extra white that's sticking out there, I'm just going to trim it off. That's a really thick piece of cardstock or paper, pattern paper. That is from uh, Blue Fern. So Blue Fern has very, very thick quality paper. So that's why it's a little bit more difficult to tear, but it is beautiful when you put it down. And it is very good to make journals out of because it's so thick, or journal covers. Anyway, I wouldn't make my inside pages out of it, but for journal covers, it's fantastic. Let's see. What about that across the bottom? I don't mind that, but I think I want to tear it off over here because I don't want to cover up my butterfly. So I'm going to tear a little bit of this side, and let's see, I can put it that far. So if I tear a little off of this side, we should be just about right. There we go. Let's see. If you see something fly across the screen, we have a, it's not a wasp, it's a dirt dauber in here. And that thing, we cannot get it. We cannot catch it. Can't let it get outside. It's, it just keeps flying away from us. My husband tried to catch it yesterday and get it to the door and get it outside. And then he tried to kill it. And it just runs away from you. So, smart little dirt dauber. All right. So that is that. I think that's cute. I do think I want something right here. The, the way that kind of splits there, 
I don't really care for it, so I'm going to put some little something right there. And it may just be a little tag. I've got tons of tags right here that I have got from here and yonder. Here and yonder. So let's see if we've got one that might work. Just a little notes tag. This is from Tina. Shabby Dabby Doodah. And all of these are on Etsy. If you just go over there and search their name or hers is just Shabby Dabby Doodah. If you go over there and search her name, you'll see her store. Oh, I need to trim it off. It's going to be too long. All right, so there is one now. Did she cover the back or didn't she? Did she cover the back? You don't have to cover the inside, I know, but I think we'll definitely have to cover the back. Now on the back, I may just put a solid sheet of something. I may, if I have a piece here that's big enough, I may just put something solid on there because I really don't think that um, it will matter. That way, whatever journal I put it in, it basically is going to work. You know what I mean? Okay. All of these are sideways. And you know why they are? Because of the journals that I have made and the way that I have cut everything. <laughs> oh, we may not find a piece we can use. Okay, we're going to put this piece on there. And I'm just going to first tear off the edges. And then I'll trim it down to whatever size that I feel like I need. I like, I don't like disorganization. I like for things to be kind of organized. But when I'm crafting, I don't mind having a lot out on my table because it gives you lots of different options. So that doesn't bother me at all. Okay, we're going to have to trim a very, very, very little piece off of this side. <laughs> Very tiny, tiny. Well, that didn't want to tear right there. I bet I will tear you like that right there. That was a tough part. Okay. Now, let's see. Well, it's okay. We've got a little bit of piece showing right there, but that's not a biggie. I can move it up like this and put it down, and we're, we're going to be good. So, let's just do that. Trim any excess off. I may not get but one or two of these made. I thought we was moving along okay there for a while, but come to a screeching halt when we started doing this. Yeah, I don't mind that. That's cute. All right, now I'm just going to trim this bottom off. I could tear it off, but I'm just going to trim it like that. And then we'll do the same at the top. Okay. And then I'm just going to go ahead and ink it. And this one will be finished. I think. I don't think she did anything else to them. I don't think she made a tag for them that I remember seeing anyway. Got a little bit here that's sticking over. So we're going to trim that. Now, if you wanted to come back and do more embellishing on these, you could, but I think I've, with my butterfly and everything, I've got plenty of embellishing there. So I don't think I'm going to do anything else to that one. Uh, this, I'm going to wait and cover when I put it down on my page. So like when I put it down on my page like this, I will bring the paper or whatever on my page up here and up here. And if I don't, if my page is already covered, then all I will do is put a strip of something down through there to cover that. So I'm going to consider that one finished. Now this one, okay, um, we could definitely put a piece of this on there. That's a purple flower, but I think it'll still look good. It's got a little bit of blue in there. And I'm just going to try to cut or trim both sides. Well, that's okay that that stopped right there because I don't need that much of it anyway. I think my hands are a little bit tired. I have been working on the journals that you guys have 
purchased from me. I have been working on those for the last couple of days. And my hands are just a little bit tired. But I love it. I love it. Please don't think there's anything wrong with it. I mean, you know, you just get tired when you do lots and lots of work. And that's fine. It don't bother me. I'd rather be working as sitting around. And I appreciate you guys purchasing the journals. I really, really do. I've got one more that's a pre-order to make. And then I'm going to try to get more of the Traveler's Notebooks up. And you guys can get those if you want. I've had lots of people that have asked me about them. Some of them have asked about ones that have already sold. I'm just going to trim that. I'm afraid to pull on it. But I do have, I think, seven more that all I need to do is get the kits, the um, ephemera kits or ephemera packs put together for them because each one comes with an ephemera pack. So I just need to get that done and then they'll be ready to go. All right, so what shall we put now? Now my searching and digging and searching and digging, I may cut some of that out. I know she doesn't edit her videos, but when I'm just scrambling around over here for things, I, I normally cut that out because I don't think you should have to sit here and watch me do that. I don't want you to sit here and watch me do that. But, you know, it's fine for those people who don't edit. If, if you don't want to edit, that's up to you. But I like to edit parts out so that, you know, when the, I'm just looking for something so that when I am actually crafting, I have more time to spend with you more real crafting time to spend with you <laughs> but you know that's just me so I'm saying nothing against anyone else that's just the way I like to do it I think I'm gonna put this piece down I'll get most of that key and I like that I think it's pretty this is one of the new paper packs that we've got more coming in I think next week I think we've ordered all that we could get and that was 30 so I think we've got 30 more coming in next week and I can't remember the name of it right this minute I know you're gonna ask me uh, I'll remember it before the video is over I can guarantee you I will let's see yeah that's still gonna fold okay I've got this little piece that's already torn so I think I'll put that one right there at the bottom all right and then what shall we put on this side? So let's do this. On this one, I'm just gonna tear it by hand. All right, and then I think I'll run that like that. I may run it up just a little bit onto this piece. Mm, yeah, maybe so. We're gonna ink this edge. Yeah, yeah, I like that. I hope I'm not crafting too close to me. Um, I have I woke up this morning with a little bit of back pain and I'm trying to pull things closer to me that rather than reach out because when we're filming we actually have to kind of reach out a little bit. And sometimes it gets to bother in my back and I think it's because I sit here yesterday with you know things reaching out I've moved my camera a little bit closer back this way so hopefully that's I'm still in frame even though I try not to get past you know here all right oh I like that one now I did get cover a little bit of my window with this part right here there we go moved it over a little but I'm not going to worry about that you can still see my flowers in there and everything so that's that's fine. And when I slide my tag down in there, you'll be able to see my tag. All right. And are we going to do anything else to the front? I may put a label or a word, just a little small word or a number or something on the front. Just because I like labels. I very seldom make anything unless I put a label on it. I don't think I have any that has any purple in there. I do have some pink ones. These are... Tracy Fox love junk journals on Etsy and I think I might just put this little one right here that says a 94 it's a um, pinkish red so it'll work 
this is a good way too to use up first off you're using up all of your junk mail envelopes and then you're using up your pieces of scrap which we all have tons of don't we you know we use up our scraps and then we turn around and we make a project and we make more scraps um hmm i think i'll just put that right up there it's a little bit redder than i thought it was but it's still gonna work and you know you could always just come in with a if you have a little piece of book page or something come in with a little piece of book page if you feel like you've got a place that doesn't have a lot of color to it that'd be pretty so let me move some things out of my way and get rid of these little giblets here now on the back again I think I'm gonna go with solid just a solid piece if I have a scrap piece that's that big and I should oh me <laughs> My timer has already gone off, guys, and I only got one and a half finished. Wow. Oh, my goodness. that's That flew. I can't believe that was the time. But it is. You know what? Let me see what time it is on here. Yeah, it's about 40 minutes that I've done. But I'm going to go ahead and finish a couple more if that's all right with you guys. Um, if you don't want to watch it, then you don't have to. But... I am going to go ahead and finish a couple more just because I didn't get anything done. <laughs> oh my goodness, that just flew by. I was thinking I had maybe at least 15, 20 more minutes, but I did not. Okay, I'm just pulling out some things to see if I can find something. I'm going to use this, even though that is... This, it's torn sideways or it's used, been used sideways. I'm still going to use that. That doesn't bother me. It'll, it'll work. It will work. Wow. I, did, I got one and a half done, Rachel. I am not so good at this. I think I probably decorated too many envelopes in the beginning. I should have started putting some things together. I'm thinking my phone is off aren't you I, I don't think it's been 45 minutes <laughs> I think there's a problem <laughs> I need to send my phone in for repair it's not timing everything right oh my goodness well that was fun while it lasted okay and I'm just gonna put some ink on the edge of it and that one will be sealed up. So you've got a little bit of pink here and you got a little bit of pink back there. All right, I'm gonna do a couple more. Like I said, you don't have to watch me if you don't want to, that's strictly up to you, but I just feel like I need to. I'm gonna do at least these two if I don't do anything else because I need, I need something else done. I have not done enough. Okay. Let's put that down through there. I think that would be pretty. And I'm just going to grab my ruler and tear that, I think. If I can see where to tear it. Maybe we're going to tear it correctly. There we go. Let's see if we did okay. Yes, that will work right there. Or we could run it this way. It really doesn't matter. I think I will run it that way, though, like that. I am going to tear just that little piece off at the bottom, just so that the whole thing all the way around has been torn. Then we'll go ahead and tear this top part. We just need to tear it right there at that cherish. Wow, was you guys sitting there saying, oh, you better hurry, you don't have time. You're running out of time. Because I was just thinking, man, this has only been like five minutes. Well, I guess time does fly when you're having fun. And this is fun. But I've got like four more videos that I need to do today, so I'm going to have to finish. Even though I don't want to, I want to just keep making these. These are fun. Okay, let's pull that down a little bit. Whoops. 
All right, I've cut it a little short, which is normal for me, but we're gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it. I am gonna trim just a tiny bit of this off over here. All right, now we need something to go across here. And I tend to run those a little sideways when I'm going up through there, which it doesn't matter because this is just collaging. All right, let's run a piece of this up here. And then I'll just put another little piece of something else up there at the top. I'm just gonna go ahead and tear this just because I've been tearing everything else, so I'm just going to go ahead and tear this one. You could put them on without tearing, or you, you could put them on, you know, just tear little pieces by hand. It doesn't matter. This is just how I started. Now, this one, this is another one of those papers that's very, very tough. It's very thick. And I have no clue why I tore that top side, but that's okay. So it doesn't tear well unless you tear it real quick. That will work. And then we're going to tear it right there below that red line. I mean, I, if I'd have quit when I first heard the bell, I wouldn't have even had anything to put on the picture to show you guys. So I have to go a little bit further. There we go. Then we'll run just something a little right across the top there. And I'm just going to put this Edith Holden piece right down here. You know me, I'm just trying to use every little piece of this up that I can get. I think I told you the other day that that one that I was using was my last little scrap. Well, I found this one in the my scraps this morning. And there we go. That there. And then we need to put something over here. That's not wide enough. Um, no. That piece wouldn't work, but you know what? We could put a little piece of this across the top there. I think we could. I don't know if I can tear it and it being that small, because this is a thick paper as well. We may not be able to. Let's see. Well, we did. I don't know what kind of mess we made, but we did. So we'll put that right there. Then just go ahead and trim the edge off there. Oh yeah, I like that. And then just something right here. Mm, that might work. Let's just tear it and we'll look at it. This is a little piece of the After Midnight Designs paper that I had used in one of my videos. And she is on Etsy as well. All of my digitals, except the ones that I make, of course, come from Etsy. And I usually always tell you guys, or I try to anyway, I tell you who, who made them. And their name, so you can find them. Okay, there we go right there, and then we're just going to tear this little piece off, fold that down, and I'm going to go ahead and trim that off right there. Now, do we want anything on the front? We've got numbers and words, so I think we're going to leave that as is. But then I am going to put a piece of paper on the back, and I'm just going to try to find something that's solid that we can put back there. We could use a piece of this. That's pretty. And oh, that side's pretty too. Hmm. No, I think I'm just going to use this side. And I don't even think I'm going to tear this one. I think I'm going to put it straight down without tearing. And then I'll just trim off the excess and ink around it. So there is another. That's cute. I like that. Okay. So let's see if I have time to do one more. Just one more. I need at least four to show in my, in my photo in the beginning. Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can just put some large pieces on this one to make it go a little bit faster. We could put that down. I know that's flowers and flowers. But I think that's pretty. Hmm. 
but I want these flowers to stand out more so I'm gonna go with maybe something a little bit different let's see which way does that go that way maybe yeah and I'm gonna tear that because it's got that little bird's tail sticking out there maybe we can save him there we go that right there so we'll save those flowers for something else and we'll just put this on there so the moral of this story is <laughs> when doing collages and when doing challenges you might need to stop out and finish one before you try to do all of the inserts and everything hmm that could be a good idea we might be able to I'm just gonna trim the flowers off since we I want those flowers in the center to be my focus so I'm gonna put this is from after midnight designs too this is one that I um, created with last year I think she had sent me this and asked would I create with it and I told her sure I would be happy to all right, I'm gonna tear that right there down just to the flowers and then I'll take the flowers off this way okay that way we still have those for something else and we can put this little piece down through there yeah let's do that I know you guys are saying just get finished with it already <laughs> Oh, and on my video yesterday, <laughs> or the one that I actually posted up this morning, it was supposed to have been yesterday's video, but um, I was so tired last night. I went in there, and I sat down after dinner, and I put my video on, edited it, did my thing, and I just forgot to publish it. Just didn't even think anymore about publishing it. It was just, I don't know where my mind went, right out the window, I guess. But I got up this morning and I thought, you know, I always check on my video and check on comments to make sure I don't have a spammer out there. And I looked at it and it had no views and I thought, oh, what have I done wrong? It has no views. But then I realized that I had not even published it. So I went ahead and published it, and I've had uh, lots of comments saying that I did the wrong size. It's the ATC police. They are out saying that I did the wrong size ATC. But that's just the size that I did. <laughs> and we will use those in our journals. I mean, I don't. I know that the artist trading cards were something that popped up, you know, quite a few years ago, and I think some people still do them, but um. And they were called artist trading cards because you did your art on them and then you traded with somebody else. And they traded with you back and forth like that. These are not meant to be traded. They're not meant to be exactly artist trading cards. So, therefore, we just made them the size that works for us. It may not be the size that works for you. Uh, you might want to make regular artist trading cards and if you do then you you need to look up that size but you know it works for me those if I'd have made them any smaller I mean that was even hard for me to juggle if I'd have made them any smaller I don't think my hands would have been able to take it I need a little piece right there and I sure don't want to have to tear more that small so I may just run that little piece on down through there so I'm having the hardest time trying to find something that works with this now. It's just not coming together. Oh, maybe that one. There we go. We got a piece right there. Um, I just don't want any more pink because I want my flowers to show. And I'm not, not finding a lot of papers over here that don't have a lot of flowers in them. I guess that tells you something about me, huh? I'm a ha I like flowers. Okay, now we've just got one more piece up here that we can do something with. 
that paper is way too hard to tear. It is very hard to tear. So I'm definitely not going to use that one. Let's just, when all else fails, what do we do? We go and grab some book page. Let's put this little scrap piece of book page on there. Oh, this is one that I actually put some gesso on, so it is tough. It, I don't think I'd be able to tear it with that without just making a big mess out of it. I could probably tear a bigger piece, maybe, yeah. So if you have any book pages that are falling apart, go ahead and grab your gesso, clear gesso, and you can put on them, and they may, it makes them just as tough as they can be. You, they're waterproof, they're, you know, you can put other mediums on top, and it doesn't soak through the paper, so it makes them really tough, and you're more able to use them in different ways. All right, there we go. We got that on there, and I was just gonna see if there was any word on here that I wanted to, nope, that I wanted to save. Okay, so we have those done, and I wanna cover up that little bird tail right there. So I think I'm just gonna take that little Edith Holden page, my last little scrap here, and I'm gonna put it down, oops, put it down there. Just knock my glue over into the my computer. So we'll cover him up. We don't want to have a bird that's got a missing head. There we go. So that is that one. And let's go ahead and cover the back real quick and we will be finished. Well, we won't be finished. I've got two more to do, but we'll be finished with you guys. You can go on about your business today then. <laughs> You have seen me make a big mess. All right, I'm gonna cover the back with this. This is so pretty. This was a Stamperia paper collection. And I can't remember the name of it. It's got a really, really funny name that I probably couldn't pronounce even if I had it in front of me. But we don't have any more of those and I can't get any more right now. Had a couple people ask about it, but I haven't been able to find it to buy more, so. But it's very pretty. I liked these dogwoods or whatever they were on the back. Okay, we're going to trim this off. All right. So there's that. Isn't that pretty? And ink a little bit right up here. Okay. So that is it. That is how many? Well, I am only, only finished one. So I can only claim one before my 45 minutes is up. That just still blows my mind. But we got four done that we can use. So aren't those pretty? She comes up with such great ideas. I just think they're so pretty. Look at that. All right, guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to go over and check out Rachel's challenges. I will leave her link below so that you can go over and check that out. And I'll try to hold these up a little bit so you can get a little look at them. And I will put some photos at the end of the video so that you can check them out. Just, and then when we close this up then we can put our tag in there at the top I think that was something I was supposed to do on the challenge just close that up and, and I didn't do it so I guess I didn't get any completed <laughs> all right we'll talk to you guys later bye bye